Hello. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such okay. as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out got it you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but okay. you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. Mm -hmm. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made already Brad. Hey, Brad. Hmm. Alex. Brad and Alex. So they're brothers? Keeping on enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? diving well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it are you serious uh yeah i mean are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons uh, kind of yeah uh it's it's what it's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Oh, shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... 
We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. <laughs> yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. That was a big decision. Hey. All right. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack the cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with me. You know what? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Hang tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Be <laughs> gentle. Uh... Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? All right, Fliss. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... so is everybody on board and ready to go? It, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. Help, oh, God, Alex. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. 
Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine, untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Okay. Hey. Almost got the gear good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Hmm. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. How many pictures are there? Hey. Hey, back. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Man, we got some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. What is... What, what is this?
This doesn't look kosher. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Um... <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. There we go. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Can I, can I, there we go. Ooh, it is a little tough to control. Oh, sweet when you mother are. Jesus. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. to look at this. Huh. There we go. What am I looking at here? So these are like, okay. Okay. I get it now. I'm glad they brought that back. Um, so, in Until Dawn, I actually got everybody to survive. 
believe it or not. And, um, don't know if that's going to happen this time around. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. <laughs> okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. I got the bank stick. Good to go. Yeah, I heard that about you. Just ha, remember ha. the rules, please. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> That front cabin is going to pop its portholes. <laughs> oh. This is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That's cheap. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Uh... Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye.
Looks like there's a storm coming. God, it is so hard to control. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Wow. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. God damn it. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Deceitful. Hmm. I'm assuming it's the same one. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. know about this wreck just rumors and theories I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there what got you into World War II just stuff I read about in school then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy got lots of medals I wanted to understand what he'd been through got me hooked Ooh. You can act. Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. What's that about? Hmm. 
That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels... off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. You're a 